Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I want to talk to you about two of my favorite mixed media um, supplies to use in the background of my collage work as well as on top of it and they are blendable pencils. Now there are a lot of different blendable pencil products, mark making products on the, on the, um, on the circuit of uh, mixed media supplies but the two uh, that I use the most frequently are the Derwent Ink Tense pencils. These are thin, uh, they go on like uh, watercolor pencils and then you can bleed and blend them with a watery brush and when they dry they're permanent so unlike watercolor pencils once they dry they will not reactivate which is good because we're going to be putting glue on top of them um, the second product that I really love are the Stabilo Woodies these are chunky um, big wide tipped uh, pencils with a waxy a really waxy um, consistency and they will grab onto a surface that really has no tooth so you can draw over collage glue and I use these to put marks on top of my collage when I'm finished. These also are blendable with water. They will blend and become paint um, or they can stay as marks. Uh, both of them can stay as pencil marks or they can be blended with water. So I'm going to show you in the studio um, how that works with both of them and um, it's kind of fun to just play with these two products. So if you've got a few minutes, let's go check it out. Okay, welcome back. Um, it's summertime in Florida, so we've got bugs, cicadas, uh, crickets, whatever, making noise in the background, but we're not going to let it bother us because there's no way to avoid it. Uh, anyway, and it's hot out here, but uh, that being said, here we are, and I am going to show you blendable pencils. I've got the Derwent Ink Tense pencils. I'm going to have a link to those in my Amazon shopping page where you can explore them in different size sets or individuals. Um, and then I've got my Stabilo Woodies. Uh, same thing with those. Uh, they are a wonderful uh, tool that uh, doesn't require any tooth. They have big, thick, chunky tips, and they're very waxy, and they'll draw right on top of your collage glue. They don't require any tooth. The Derwents are more um, like watercolor or colored pencils. They are going to need a little tooth to, um, to write on top of your work. Uh, you can use them to create collage papers. You can use them to create mixed media backgrounds. Um, both of them have great blendable properties with water, so let's check it out. All right, so I'm going to start with the Woodies. Um, you can see that the lines are big and thick and rich. They go on like a crayon. Um, we're going to put a couple of different colors next to each other. And then I'm going to take a water brush and I'm going to blend them. And you're going to see how they're going to turn really right into a paint. Look at that. And then we can go into the orange. And when you blend them out, they just turn right into a paint. But if you leave them like drawing material, you can varnish them and keep them as line work. So if I take uh, the pencil and I want to create uh, green lines and I want to leave that in my work, um, or purple marks and I want to leave that on top of my collage work, I'm going to then take some spray varnish um, and I'm going to spritz this and it will seal the, the, the woody and it will not bleed or blend when we put a brush varnish on it or another layer of water mixed media. So if you hit it with water, it's going to blend out like paint. And if you touch it uh, up just a light coat of this uh, gloss uh, varnish, it will seal it and set it. So um, two different ways you can use it. And basically the same thing for the Derwent Ink Tense Pencils. Let's get a new little section of paper here. Um, they're going to go on like watercolor, I mean like, uh, yeah, like watercolor pencils. They're like colored pencils and they're going to require a little bit of tooth. Um, they come in a wide range of colors as well. And we're going to be able to blend them out just the same. But you can get finer detail with these because they're going to come down into a much finer tip. You're looking at two different tip sizes here. So you're going to get finer detail with the Derwent Ink Tense than you are going to be able to get with the Woody. And there you have some more blending. And then you can go in and add some line work on top. And again, set it with your varnish. 
So that's two different types of blendable pencils for your mixed media collage work. And thanks for being here. And I look forward to seeing you next week.